नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्क मैनेजमेंट इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सेवरल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ डिस्क मैनेजमेंट सच एज द फर्स्ट एस्पेक्ट इज डिस्क फॉर्मैटिंग डिस्क फॉर्मैटिंग और दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड एस डिस्क पार्टीशनिंग डिस्क पार्टीशनिंग द सेकेंड वन इज बूट ब्लॉक थर्ड वन इज बैड ब्लॉक सो दीज थ्री आर द मेजर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ डिस्क मैनेजमेंट सो ऑल दीज थ्री आर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन कनेक्शन विथ डिस्क मैनेजमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज डिस्क फॉर्मैटिंग और डिस्क पार्टीशन सो वाई वी हैव टू पार्टीशन द डिस्क वाई बिकॉज वी नो दैट द साइज ऑफ द हॉट डिस्क इज वेरी वेरी लॉर्ज सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू पार्टीशन द हॉट डिस्क हियर वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टीशन द फर्स्ट वन इज लो लेवल पार्टीशनिंग लो लेवल पार्टीशनिंग और this can also be called as physical so physical level partitioning so what is the first one low level low level or physical level partitioning uh, whereas the second one is high level so reverse to the low that is high level or this can also be called as physical so reverse to the physical is logical so logical level partitioning so first let's see about what is low level partitioning low level partitioning can also be called as physical level partitioning low level partitioning means the creation of tracks and sectors will be done yet system manufacturing time system factory outlet time system configuration time we know that hard disk is a collection of platters and each platter is subdivided into various tracks and the tracks are subdivided into sectors so in low level partitioning the creation of the sectors and the tracks will be done yet system manufacturing time we know that sector mainly contains data sector mainly contains three parts the first part is header information the second part is data third part is ecc error correcting code error correcting code uh, and we have read write head so read write head is useful in order to perform the read and write operation on the sector why because sector contains data so mainly we can perform two operations read and write operations so for performing those operations we will use read write head so that is about low level or physical level partitioning and the second one is high level or uh, logical level partitioning so high level partitioning means here the partitioning is done by user while installing the operating system so we know that our in windows our operating system mainly contains three file systems c file system d file system e file system so those three partitions those partitions will be done yet operating system installation time installation time so that is about high level or logical level partitioning so low level means the partitioning will be done yet system configuration time system manufacturing time creation of the sector tracks so all those things will be done yet system uh, configuration system manufacturing time whereas high level partitioning means that is done by us users uh, so that is the first one that is disk formatting or disk partitions and the second one is boot block we know that the main memory is divided into various partitions the first partition is called as 
boot block boot block mainly contains a program called bootstrap loader program so the first partition of the hard disk is bootstrap loader program so the main memory is divided into uh, yeah here we have hard disk disk management the hard disk is divided into various partitions this is in connection with the disk okay here we have to use hard disk okay so the hard disk is divided into various partitions the first partition is called as boot block boot block contains bootstrap loader program whenever we start the computer then the bootstrap loader program will be executed bootstrap loader program initializes all the aspects of the computer so that means bootstrap loader program uh, loads all the device driver files and we have several registers it initializes all the registers so for that bootstrap loader loads kernel into the main memory from the hard disk what is a kernel kernel contains the main task of the operating system so whenever we start the computer then uh, our bootstrap loader program will be executed bootstrap loader program loads the kernel into the main memory from the hard disk next where the bootstrap loader program will be stored the bootstrap loader program will be stored in rom so rom means read only memory so why we <coughs> so why we are storing bootstrap loader program in rom why because there are several advantages of the rom we can perform only read operation we can't perform any write operation uh, so there is a security for our bootstrap loader program as well as uh, uh, there is no need to explicitly call the uh, rom why because whenever we start the computer then rom will be stored at a fixed memory location so cpu immediately executes the rom so whenever we start the computer first cpu will execute rom so that directly rom contains bootstrap loader program so directly bootstrap loader program will gets executed so that rom will be stored at a fixed location cpu can access that location directly so that's why bootstrap loader program will be stored in rom and viruses cannot be affected on the rom why because it is a read only memory so we can't we uh, viruses can't be affected on the rom so that's why bootstrap loader program will be stored in rom but the problem here is let us assume that we want to perform some modifications on our bootstrap loader program i want we want to do some modifications on the bootstrap loader program so now it is not possible why because bootstrap loader program is stored in rom so that's why what what nowadays what many computer manufacturing systems are doing is rom contains a small a tiny bootstrap loader program so whenever we start the computer then this tiny bootstrap loader program from the rom will be executed this tiny bootstrap loader program loads the larger bootstrap loader program which resides in hard disk so hard disk contains the large bootstrap loader program so this tiny bootstrap loader program loads that uh, uh, la that larger bootstrap loader program into the main memory so that if we want to make any modifications then there is no problem why because now the large bootstrap loader program is available in hard disk so we can make modifications on that program so this is about boot block so hard disk is divided into various partitions the first partition is called as boot block boot block mainly contains bootstrap loader program and the last one is bad block bad block bad block means uh, there is a crash there is a problem so here we have two types of problems the first problem is at the time of system manufacturing time only at the time of system manufacturing only the disk hard disk block may be crashed and the second one is when the read write head touches rotating platter we know that when the disk when the disk is working then the platter will be rotated if the read write head if the read write head touches rotating platter then what will happen is that a disk drive will be crashed so these are the main two reasons 
why the disk will be crashed so if the disk is crashed then we can call it as a bad block so if the disk is crashed then what we have to do we have to replace the disk with a new disk so we have to copy the content of the that bad disk that failed disk data into the new disk so this is about various aspects of uh, disk management